Since a local horse rescue started back in 2005, it has saved more than 200 horses. Volunteers say now more than ever they need the community support to keep the doors open. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner joins us with the story. Mark and Heather, the Shadaroba Horse Rescue recently received a certification, giving them the title of a 501c3 or tax exempt nonprofit. The new title will allow them to write and receive grants, and they say that's where the public support is needed most. Off this busy section of Goshen Road lies a sanctuary of sorts. 41 horses call this place home, and for the majority, it's more than just food and shelter. Many times, if we don't take them, it's death for those horses. So when it's life and death, we make room. Michelle Heights started the rescue more than five years ago and says funding has always been an issue. Basically, for the last five plus years, we've been operating on a shoestring and a prayer. But the new certification is giving Heights and other volunteers at the rescue hope for the future. This rescue can use, you know, help in, in all form of matters. Ed Sampson rescued his horse, Bela, about a year ago. He owns a fiberglass company in Mishawaka and wants to use his business expertise to help the rescue. I think this horse rescue is the best kept secret in the area. So I'm going to um, do as much as I can do to uh, help with any organization that they may need. But he says the quick fix won't happen overnight. It's not like I have all the answers or here's what we need to do and, and magically everything is going to be okay. I mean, it takes, it's going to take some time. In addition to rescuing dozens of horses every year, the barn also offers a number of services to the community. We also do a lot of educating. We teach people how to be first time horse owners. We do a lot of programs with children that have varying degrees of difficulties. If you'd like to get involved with the Shadaroba Horse Rescue, head to this story on Wayne.com for contact information and more details. Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.